Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this whole house clean with me. I hope you guys are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation that I have here in today's video. We are starting off here in my daughter's bedroom. I'm just giving you a little peek of her outdoor scenery that she has here in her room. We always have these blinds shut um, just because she naps in here during the day and she needs it to be really dark, but I opened them up today and I really need to go ahead and get some blackout curtains for her room. The curtains that we have are supposed to be blackout, but the way they sit on the window, they just, a ton of sunlight comes in. So I need to figure something out with those, but we're going to go ahead and put some clothes away. I have had these clothes for probably two days now, just sitting on top of her dresser. So we're going to go ahead and tackle these clothes, put them away, tidy up her bedroom and just get into this whole house clean with me. Almost every area in my whole house today was a complete mess, so I was super excited to go ahead and tackle it. We are cleaning like my daughter's bedroom, we are doing the kitchen, the dining room, the master bedroom, we are doing the playroom. We're going to go ahead and go outside and clean up our back deck because that is a mess as well. So we are doing some ultimate cleaning here today in my home. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it brings you cleaning motivation. Put me up on your TV and clean with me. You will see my little helper come in here in a second. You will see her pop in and out of this video. Um, I cleaned pretty much while she was awake today. I did a little bit of it while she was napping, but the majority of it was when she was sleeping and I did this cleaning all day long. It took me hours to do this whole house clean with me. Um, you can see I started out in the morning. My hair is still wet from my shower. And as the day goes on, you can tell my hair change and dry and it has been hours of cleaning. But there is my little helper right there. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Carly. I'm a mama to this um, almost two year old baby girl. Her name is Evelyn. And I do tons of cleaning motivation here on my channel. I do a little bit of lifestyle and motherhood as well, but mostly cleaning motivation here on this channel. So if you guys enjoy content like that, make sure you go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button and turn your bell notification on. I usually post every Tuesday and Thursday at 8 a.m. Someone is holding, and oh, I 
I woke up this morning to our dog had thrown up in our daughter's bedroom so I needed to go ahead and get the carpet cleaner. I had cleaned it up with some paper towels early in the morning um, but I didn't want to wake the whole house up with doing the carpet cleaner because it is loud and then I also noticed this other huge spot by Evelyn's crib. I have no idea what it was. I I feel like it was juice or something maybe, but I honestly have no idea and it was huge. You guys saw. So I busted out the carpet cleaner to go ahead and clean up that spot and then I had to clean up um, the other throw up spot and I just had some gummies and Evelyn is terrified of the vacuum. She's terrified of loud noises, but she will come close to them. You saw her come and grab a gummy. I had to bribe her because daddy left for the day and she was a not happy girl. It was only like 10 in the morning and I had to give her some fruit snacks to calm her down but we're gonna go ahead and tackle these dirty spots and they looked really really good in the end. So I quickly just vacuumed um, where I did it at and it worked so well. It is all up which is insane. This I don't think it's um, no yeah that wasn't the spot but the carpet cleaner cleaned both of these spots and you can't even tell if there was a huge um, circle here. I think this is just a shadow, but yeah, that worked really well. I was really nervous about this one not coming out and I didn't even know this one was here, so I'm really glad that this carpet cleaner, this is what it looks like. It's a Bissell. Um, the spot cleaner, it works really, really well. I have it linked in my Amazon store, which is always in my description box. Now I am headed into the kitchen and the dining room area and I talked about this in my last video and I had a ton of people agree with me when doing um, like a cleaning in your home. I always start in the kitchen. A lot of people agreed with me. Today I decided to switch it up and start in the bedroom and then come out here and it got me thinking. I always clean the kitchen first. So I always do the dishes, like I clean the sink and then I head into the dining room and notice that there are cups and plates and stuff that need to go into the sink then into the dishwasher. So I'm going to start doing it from the dining room to the kitchen because it just makes more sense because of the dishes and stuff on the table. But I thought that was funny that I mentioned that and then totally switched it up. I'm trying not to have my cleaning videos be completely repetitive because I know a um, bunch of people watch all of my videos so I'm trying to switch them up for you guys so that you do not get bored. If you are familiar with my channel, you know where that um, sign, it's now a calendar on this wall, it used to be a chalkboard, but I found this calendar at Big Lots and the bottom is the chalkboard and then it has the top, which is the months, or no, it's the days of the week and then it goes the months, the second tier down and then the third tier is like the days. 
and it's a super cute chalkboard. I posted on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, it's at Carly Hetrick, but I posted it over there and I had like 30 people ask me where it was from. It is the cutest calendar. I wish I would have gotten like a close-up shot for it for you guys, but next video I will do that, but I had to share it with you guys. I'll try to find the link for it and put it in the description box. Um, I think Big Lots has a website. I'm pretty sure where you can like order stuff offline. I'll try and find it and link it, but it is seriously so cute and everyone was obsessed with it. I'm not sure if I talked about this in my videos, um, but I have a plan for the stools. I hate these stools. When we moved into the house, we went with this dark gray theme, and I'm not sure why I did that, but um, these stools just like do not match anymore. They were very inexpensive. They were only like $40, maybe $20 from Walmart a piece, but my new hopes, I'm saving up for them because I want to buy them myself, but I want to get the like stools they are a white and then they have like a wicker on the top with like a brown i feel like it'll match my decor better and i hate the swivel and like having the high back because when people are sitting in them and they turn them it scratches like it leaves like a black scuff here on the island and since it's white it shows up like immediately and i have to go ahead and like wipe it off every single time so that's becoming a pain but Hopefully within my next few videos, I go ahead and purchase the stools. I'm super excited about them. I'm just waiting um, until I can save up enough money to go ahead and buy them because they are pretty expensive. I think they're like $70, $80 a stool and I need three of them. So over here with this ultimate house clean with me, it would not be one without having some kind of bizarre mess from my daughter. Usually it's like juice spills and stuff, but today it was avocado all over our windowsill. She had this for breakfast and it just got everywhere. I'm not even sure how this happened, but I'm guessing it was on her hands and she came over here and just kind of smeared it in everywhere. My daughter's high chair needed a very good cleaning to it. She has, she is like the messiest eater. I talk about this all the time, but I'm not even kidding. She is the messiest eater I have ever came in contact with. She smears food like nobody's business. She, when she's like done eating, she'll pick up her food and she'll kind of toss it to the ground. Usually I think she thinks she can feed the dogs, but the dogs usually are not in there. But when they are in our home um, for breakfast time, she feeds them and she thinks it's funny. But for like lunch and dinner when they're not in there, she still does it. So food gets all over the ground every single time. And after she's done every single meal, every single snack at her high chair, I usually have to sweep and then use the Swiffer because it is that messy.
So I know it's early, but a ton of my YouTube friends and I have been talking about fall content and stuff like that. So if you guys do watch my channel consistently, let me know down below what kind of fall videos you would like to see, whether that be like decorating or like my decor and things like that. Maybe I can do some fall recipes. I'm always baking and making like comfort, nice food in the fall time. So let me know down below. I know it's early. I know it's only July, but usually my fall content starts in August. So let me know down below what kind of videos you guys would like to see for the fall time. I have been looking for a little like entryway table kind of for the wall right where the vacuum is right now underneath that picture that we have hanging I've talked about this before but I want a tiny like almost maybe a little bit bigger than half the size of this one right here for that wall because it's just plain right now and I feel like it needs something but I do not want it to be like as big as this one and I'm having the hardest time finding one so if you guys know any places that sell good um, like entryway tables let me know because I really want one there and I also want one for actual entryway as well I'll show you guys that um, later on in this video when I'm cleaning over there and I'll ask you again what you guys think but let me know down below if you guys can help me what color you think I should get how big and all of that so I would be very appreciative you could help me because I've been looking for weeks now. I've gone on like Wayfair. Um, I've looked in Home Goods at our local one and I cannot find anything. to throw my game not really why i came oh do me a favor pour me another glass pour hearts and never last oh save me i'm a wild one getting bored out looking for attention i'm not looking to me no friend no
If you are new to my channel, I recently just did a laundry room makeover. This laundry room used to be a dark gray color. There was not even a shelf up and it was just not, it was not pretty. So I did a laundry room makeover. I will have that linked um, down below. It is a really good video. I did it all for under $200. I completely revamped our laundry room and I absolutely love it. Next, I'm going ahead and moving into our master bedroom. I'm going to put away some of those clothes that I just got out of the dryer, make the bed, do some vacuuming, and then we are going to head back out to the living room and clean up that. This is the second time I've done this in a video and I'm sorry if you did not notice, but if you did, I completely forgot to put up this blind and that irritates me. I'm like a person that has to have both things like matching, especially if it is like this. So I do apologize for not opening up that blind. We were outside and I actually realized it because you can see through the windows um, outside and I noticed that the one blind was up and the other one was down and I was like, Dang it, I forgot to put it up, so I'm sorry if that bothers you, because it bothers me too. While I was um, vacuuming the bedroom, I noticed like these tiny black spots on the ground. I thought they were like sock fuzz from my husband because he wears those black socks and I'm not sure what they were, but I took some shell with a rag and they came right up. This I've been doing recently. If there's like little spots on the ground, I'll quickly grab this. Um, our dogs are not, they were not sleeping in here this night. Um, they were at grandma's house for the night, so I didn't have to worry about that because this is where our male dog sleeps, but I had to go ahead and get that up because it looked terrible. Feel that this is your beginning will colors fade, but it's okay.
So I was wrong. We are actually going into the playroom. As you can see, this is a complete mess. This is how it typically is, but I'm trying my best to keep up with it because it, if, it, if it is destroyed like this, my daughter will not play in it. She'll play in another room and she'll make a mess throughout my house. So I've been trying to keep up with this room, even though she is the one who makes the mess. I have to clean it up because she won't play in it if it's so messy that she can't like walk through it or anything. So I've been trying to do that. That was my second time cleaning it for the day and it is a complete mess right now as I'm doing this voiceover. So I have to go back out and clean it before she wakes up in the morning because I want her to be able to play in there in the morning time um, so I can do this video. I have to upload it and stuff tomorrow, but it has to be cleaned for her to play in it. Also, this little girl is such a sneak. I don't know how she's doing this or where she's hiding them, but I'm pretty good. Well, I thought I was pretty good with taking all of the crayons and putting them away after she's done coloring, but this little girl, I think she's taken like five of them and she has hid them without me knowing and she pulls them out randomly and she'll start coloring all over the place so she colored all over my door all over the floor in the playroom in the dining room she has colored on my furniture and I'll catch her and I'll take one and then like 45 minutes to an hour later maybe two hours she'll have another one and she'll do the, do the exact same thing and I don't know where she's hiding them how she's doing this but that little girl she's not even two yet and she is sneaky I'm like, literally, I have no idea how she's doing it, but there is a blue crayon, green crayon, purple crayon all over my house. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks, citrus in our beverages, citrus in our beverages, show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. Swing it down in life, you know. Breathing out air for a minute. Yeah. Hey, would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear Can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here Make everything disappear Lilo in the big chase sun Put your rose colored glasses on As I was vacuuming, I noticed a few spots on the couch, so I took a wet rag and wiped them off. I really like that about this couch is how um, easily things come off of it. We got this couch from Big Lots. I always have at least one person ask me that. It is from Big Lots. We got it with that chair over there. It came like as a set, and we got it for a really good deal. Um, I always want to tell people just to be cautious when you buy furniture from there. We do have a rip in our chair and our couch is kind of getting like beat down a little bit. A few weeks ago, my husband like kind of not body slammed, but kind of like jumped on the couch and we heard like a loud bang inside of it. So I'm pretty sure something snapped, but I feel like for only having it for not even two years, it probably shouldn't be this worn down, but it is. So if you do buy any furniture from there, just be cautious.
And this is the entryway that I was talking about. I normally don't put this in my videos because it doesn't really get that messy. We don't really use this entryway that much because we have our garage. But where that bench is, um, I was thinking about doing an entryway table there just because, I don't know, I kind of want another table to decorate in my home, but I don't know if it'll be too much. And also I'm saving up for, um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like a built-in cubby coat rack thing right where that um what's that called a treasure chest and the coat rack is it isn't hard to tell what you were thinking babe your thoughts are only getting louder while you are up in space i sit here by myself For the last part of this ultimate whole house clean with me, we are headed outside to clean up this mess out here. Um, we play out here probably for at least two hours every single day on top of this deck because it's sometimes nice and shaded underneath the roof and stuff like that. We also have a ton of stuff in our backyard that she plays with too, but out here she has completely destroyed this as per usual every single day. We have a ton of fake food out here because in a minute you'll see her little house that she has and it has a kitchen in it, but I'm going to go ahead and tidy up out here. I am absolutely obsessed with this outdoor couch that we have. We got it last summer. I'm not sure where it's from. I kind of want to say Big Lots, but I also want to say Giant, the food store. I'm not sure. I'll have to ask my mom and figure it out. But we have it up like this because it blocks off the staircase going down to the yard so that we can keep Evelyn up here for when I want to stay up here. This is her little house that I was talking about. I have a video coming out soon. It did not look like this when we bought it. I completely redid it. I'm super excited about this. But this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this ultimate whole house clean with me. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe. I'm just showing you our backyard right here, but I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.